TSP, the Sloan's Project Backup Channel. Um, quick blog. I just want to talk about the whole Queens flip uh, versus the New York City OG Bloods and everything like that. I just wanted to address it briefly. I've been seeing a lot of things going on on the internet. I remember when Queens Flip uh, first interviewed those guys all together, and then he in he interviewed them individually. And I gotta say, Queens Flip did nothing wrong by interviewing those guys. And I salute Queens Flip because Queens Flip gave them a platform. He introduced them to a wider audience. They might they might have had friends and people who knew them on the street, but Queens Flip, when it comes to social media, YouTube, and things like that, uh, the Flip the Script podcast is one of the biggest podcasts on YouTube and one of the best podcasts out here on YouTube right now. So I salute Queens Flip. Queens Flip did nothing wrong by interviewing the New York City OGs, Bloods, Crips, Latin Kings. He did nothing wrong. He also given platforms to people that we forgot about, like People like Chingy, Cardan, things like that, uh, Saigon, artists that people have forgot about. He have given them a platform to speak, to tell a story about what happened in their lives and, you know, speak about their career and, and growing up. But um, I just want to say briefly, Queens Flip did nothing wrong. Queens Flip and G-Money, salute to both of them. I, I feel like they ask uh, good questions. I feel like, you know, they give these guys uh, uh, on platforms and these guys wouldn't be where they at right now if it wasn't for them going on the Queens Flip Show on his podcast and for them to be able to tell their stories. Now you see they got they, they channels is up and running. They have the viewership and it's 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 because of Queens Flip. Part of that is because of Queens Flip. You know, so they got to give their credit, you know, the Queens flip at the end of the day and salute to them. Um, it's not his fault that they bickering and that um, one may feel like the other other person is, is fabricating a story or their situation. That's not Queens flips. Um, that's not Queens flips fault. However, the guests want to answer a question. They're going to answer it. He have no control over that. So. I just think all the OGs, they, they need to come together, man, and, and just come to some sort of common ground. And you know what I mean? A lot of people is watching. You already see the Wolves and the Cho situation in New York. You see it's out of control. So these OGs is definitely needed to guide these dudes. Not to say that they that's going to help, but at least just give them an ear. You understand what I'm saying? Hearing it from somebody who's been from people, OGs, who's been through it, who's been to prison, who's been to jail, to Rikers Island, going through it in the system, I feel like they can make a difference in a lot of these dudes' lives, these wolves and chos, you know what I'm saying, running around, GDs running around. I feel like they can make a difference in their life. But um, salute to all the OGs, uh, salute the Queens Flip, uh, keep doing what you're doing, and like I said, hopefully these OGs could come together to some sort of common ground and um, you know move forward. And that's my brief thoughts on the New York City OGs uh, slash Queens Flip.